This course is on index and ETF trading. You may be coming from any walk of life. So some of you may be in retail, some of you may be in technology or finance or energy, and you probably know your industry well. So, you know, people generally tend to gravitate towards stocks that they know and understand. And, and there's a good reason for that because they understand the companies. And that's a very good reason. You need to understand the companies that you're dealing with. But sometimes, even if you're dealing with companies that you know, you do get some surprises. The company may be involved in a lawsuit. There might be some other kind of bad news or something happened in their factory in China. Or uh, if you're with uh, any of the energy companies, you're always worried about some kind of an oil spill somewhere which will uh, tank your stock. Even if you deal with companies that you know, there are always these uncertainties of all kinds. And if, you're, if your stock or if your company gets caught up in that kind of a mess, then the stock is subjected to severe volatility, the price, the prices crash and things like that. So you don't have to always deal in stocks. If you've never dealt with ETFs and indexes before, I want to tell you these instruments are fantastic because they give you instant diversification. So you can buy ETFs that have a certain sector. So let's say you're coming from the technology uh, uh, industry. You have a technology ETF. If you're coming from finance, you have a finance ETF. If you're coming from energy, you have an energy ETF. So rather than take a single company exposure into some of these uh, stocks, you would go into the ETF itself and look at the options on the ETFs. Now, all these major ETFs have fantastic liquidity. So you don't need to worry about whether you're selecting something that nobody is going to be interested in or anything. These Most of these sector ETFs and the major index ETFs trade in millions of shares per day. So you don't have to worry about liquidity. And ETFs are the equivalent of mutual funds. So just like mutual funds, ETFs are instantly diversified. So if you're coming from technology, for example, the technology ETF is going to have investments into like a hundred different technology companies and some of them will be the big ones you'll have the apples and the googles and the yahoos and all of that inside that etf so you're dealing with very big large companies you're dealing with a certain diversification that's designed and built into the instrument itself and that of course reduces volatility because you're not exposed to company specific news company specific activities the company specific earnings reports and things like that.